This smells so good. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, I totally realized that something was off today, and I was like, uh, you haven't started your vlog. So, my hair is wet, kind of. I'm going to have to wet it again, because I want to take some cool pictures for my Instagram. And I am like, I love this marble wall. It's my favorite thing in my room. But... It's becoming low-key obsessive, like it's just too much. So, I am building my drop. And we have a little nugget in my closet, so that's fun. Building a set in my room. <laughs> and I did my makeup very low-key. I just literally did my eyelashes and my eyebrows. And a little bit of concealer, guys. Like, I know that I shouldn't. But there's, like, no foundation, no nothing else. Like, there's not that line of thing that I always do. Because my under eyes are so bad and I need pictures. So I have this white backdrop that I've never used because I've always had this white wall. So I've had like all these other color backdrops. And I've used them all. I've just never used like an actual white one. So I still have it in the packaging and this is like so old. It came with that the first time I bought it. And just because that wall was always white, there was no reason for me to use a white one. This is sheer. It comes with this little guy, which is a film that you put behind the actual screen. I mean, some M&M's. before they're the easter kind the colors are just way cuter and well the regular ones were way cheaper but whatever we fall and die i'm sorry <laughs> me as a person here you can't see okay but from like i'm watching some drama videos and i'm so over it like i want to know why i sit here and watch these drama i'll talk about this in a sec but i want to see why like other can't even speak i want to know why I'm into these drama videos and I hate them at the same time because it's like my favorite YouTubers are out here fighting and I'm just like and I know somebody's gonna be like you know some of these people like you've met them they follow you and things like that and um I have nothing to say on this situation I wasn't there I don't think these accusations are right to be said and I don't think it's right if they were actually done you know what I mean I freaking adore Vitaly and I freaking adore Foose you guys know if you guys have followed me for a really long time and you guys see like on social media that like they follow me and things like that well Vitaly does I think Fousey doesn't but genuinely because I found these kids when they first started off and they weren't that like I don't want to say that famous but like when they first started you know so it's just like I'm genuinely just a fan like let's say like knock on wood I don't think Trevino would do anything crazy but like let's say Trevino does something insane which I highly doubt he would he's like the most amazing person I've ever met in my life I freaking love him but that doesn't fall back on me if that makes sense is what I like what I'm trying to say like it doesn't fall back on me if somebody does something because they're not my kid you know what I mean like I can't go in there with you know like kind of the whole same thing when like I would watch Jake and like team 10 videos and all that controversy with, like Alyssa and all that and I'm like I love them all like I just love watching content on YouTube so I hate when it falls back for you being a fan of somebody that like the drama hits you it's not right like even if somebody's a prostitute they still have the right to say no if they don't want something done like it's not just like hi i'm a prostitute and like you can do whatever you want to me it's like no they have the consent and the right to say no to something you don't own them i wish everybody the best and i just really wish the drama would stop on youtube but it's not going to i mean i see her and i watch it so i'm a part of the problem watching this so let me know below if you guys are like into the drama videos and what you guys think about that like not the whole situation unless you guys want to but just like the whole fact that like youtube is all this drama and that's what people love like it started off with story times i'm gonna be really honest with you i'm obsessed with story times and i watch them because it's like being in somebody's business you know <laughs> i realized that i talked about all that situation didn't show you guys this so all these like creases and things like that like all blur all that out because i stand here i'll blur this all out like i can blur that all out um because ain't nobody got time to come in here with an iron i like it, it looks nice it's gonna work for the pictures that i'm trying to take we have a package i'm about to unbox i can put you guys there this is this is the spot then okay that's one way to break it i like am the worst at opening packages like, I need you guys to know how bad I am at opening packages. This is from Bior. Ooh, look at that. Look at my eye. <laughs> um, just a whole bunch of stuff that Bior sent over. Okay, something came out. Just gonna pretend like I didn't see this. We have the Bior Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strips. I'm obsessed with Bior, guys. You guys already know that I'm like an ambassador for them. And we have the, I love how they use charcoal. Like charcoal, who would have known how amazing charcoal would have been 
besides like barbecue stuff and like um uh fire pits okay um <laughs> this is a charcoal self-heating one minute mask how cool is that and then we have the charcoal bar deep cleanse and gentle exfoliating bar so that's so cool this is what was open <laughs> i'm excited to try this stuff so this is what we have to take a pic with so i can put it on instagram um yeah i'm so excited to try this i love your it's a company that really has helped me with my skin i suck at taking care of my skin like i never do my hair is still drenched because i'm trying to get this picture um i never really took care of my skin like bior has helped me like change that up and actually take care of my skin <laughs> opening everything up that I got because I'm trying to take like some pictures actually I kind of like my hair like that um so they're all in like these weird little packets which obviously in like real life it's better but like for Instagram they're not that cute so the only thing I really like is the soap and then I'll probably put one of the pore strips on so, this smells so good <laughs> I don't know if I don't like the location or what it is that I'm not liking my hair is not all that wet anymore I don't really know what to do, but I am gonna use one of these new strips. I do. I need to go wet my nose. All right, this is gonna be a first impression. Let's wet my nose. I'm starting to look like Rudolph. You guys would know why or not. But it's going on with your little buddy. There we go. And then this side goes into your nose. Yes. What way though? Bottom, top. Okay. Okay. Yay. Oh my god, it low-key smells so bomb. <laughs> I look like I got a bad nose job done. Alright, we're opening the mask. Because I'm going to try to make like a little like, you know, like little army prints. I don't know. Just me pretending to be a model. Okay, cool. I love when nothing pops up. <laughs> I love when nothing pops up. Oh my hole wasn't that big. Oh my god. 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 Should we just do? Hold on. This smells so amazing, y'all. I need to clean this. Hold on. I thought, why don't I actually use this mask now that I'm done taking pictures? I hope one of those pictures turned out cute. If not, well, we'll see what we do. Okay, I'm just gonna take this little bit off and then clean off my face really fast. I don't really have any on maybe, it's just like under my eyes. But that way we could just apply all over. When I get nervous, I talk in a British accent because I know I'm not a beauty guru. Get a little bit of Mario here too. Yeah, I don't know why I get so nervous whenever I have to do like beauty guru stuff. Even though it's what I started off doing on YouTube, it's just like now there's like so many amazing people on the internet that it's like. What is this random girl doing? Like, she's not doing a good job, you know? <laughs> See that pimple right there? I have, like, my forehead's been really bad this last period. Tried to kill me. They're just kind of these little packets, and they're so, like, amazing to travel with. Like, can you picture, like, going on vacation? You're like, I really want to take a mask, but you don't want to take, like, a huge bottle of a mask. Ain't no one like me. It's so warm. I got on my eyebrow. I think that's like the number one rule whenever you have a mask. Like, don't get it in your eyebrow. Your eyebrow will fall off. So this is the one minute mask. I like it. I'm gonna take some pictures really fast though because it is a one minute mask so we don't want to mess this up and I'm gonna call my cousin while I take pictures. I'm such a flop. It's literally called the one minute mask. Self-heating. I'm like, it's getting hot. Like, it's actually pretty cool. I've never had a heating mask. Like, I honestly feel like I'm at a spa. Like, the last time I felt like this was like at a spa. I've been calling my cousin like 10,000 times and it's not working. Hello? Hello? You called? I did. What are you doing? I just got home from picking up the boy. I was going to tell you something and I completely forgot what it was. But no. Story of my life. Me always, yeah. I'm turning into Dory in real life. So, guys, I changed back into the shirt. Guys, that mask felt so bomb. I was on the phone with my cousin, so I couldn't talk to you guys, like, about it. And, uh, yeah, um, it felt so good on my skin. It was so weird because it was, like, super warming and, like, it heated up. 
And then like afterwards, it was like cool. And once I took it off, it was so weird. I loved it. I low key feel like it made all this like lift up though. But I feel like that's just how it is. But like, I'm like, oh, hey, pimples that I never knew were there. Cool. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna edit some pictures and try to upload them. So if you guys see that Instagram post, keep an eye out. And if you guys are more active on my Instagram, I noticed that and I stalked you guys' pages. Plus my giveaways are all gonna now be transferred to Instagram for the most part because it's just so much easier to contact you guys through Instagram. Like I've had to pick like, Four different people for a giveaway through YouTube because the messaging app, like, it doesn't show up. Like, when people message me, I never see that. Hey, guys. So, I'm sorry that I'm ending this video on my webcam, but it's inaudible. I always forget to do end clips. And, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you guys can do me a big favor, comment below what favorite Insta not Instagram, what favorite social media thing you guys use so I can know how we can do, like, future giveaways. Plus, because I'm going to do a giveaway very soon. Just keep your eyes out. It might be part of Kylie's new storm collection or weather collection, whatever it's called. So stay tuned for that. If you guys can comment on my B or picture on Instagram. We could do like little black hearts. I will go stalk and like all your guys' pictures and reply to your guys' comments. And that way we can see who's like coming from YouTube. So you guys are watching this. And if you already liked the picture or commented on it, go comment a black heart. And I know that you watched this video this far. And yeah, I'll talk to you pretty faces in the next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment whatever I asked you. And yeah, bye guys.